Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Well, it's the last few days till Christmas. Yeah, wow. This has been one year that has uh, flew by pretty quick. And I hope it's been a pretty good year for you guys, considering, you know, all the bullshit that's been going on as far as the pandemic and, you know, cost of living and everything else going up. So I hope you guys are doing pretty good out there. So what we have here is the finished product of the veneer that I ended up applying to the top of this body. And uh, I don't like it. Now I pulled all of this off. Instead of cutting it really nice, I pulled all of the extra wood off of from around the body of the guitar. Uh, you know, so it's going to be kind of shitty around the edges and stuff because the way I pulled it off, I just ripped it off. I don't like it. Uh, as you can see, some of the stripes, the lines going vertical up and down, um, there's high and low spots. Now, there's no air pockets in here. There, this is completely flat, which is exactly what I wanted to. But the type of glue that I used was the wrong glue. Now, I've seen and watched videos. I've also used adhesives myself for doing furniture, uh, tabletops and, and speaker cabinets and stuff like home speaker cabinets with uh, wood veneers and stuff. I've done this before, but I've used uh, a different type of an adhesive to bond the veneer to the wood itself. But I've also seen that you can use the type bond too for doing this as well. Well, for the type of veneers that you're using, Type On 2 is not really good because there's water inside of it. And what happens with wood when, especially thin pieces of wood, when you add water to them, they kind of swell a little bit. So these darker lines here is on the downside of it, and these lines that are a little bit lighter are on the high side. So this kind of like swelled up in certain areas of the wood itself leaving me with it's flat but it's got just a little bit of wave to it and i don't want that i don't like that at all i could sand this down or could have sanded this down completely flat and gotten rid of all of that but that's going to really thin out the veneer itself by doing so just by feeling it um it's not as thick as the veneer is but it is kind of a little bit on the wavy side so I'm going to start over again. I got plenty of this veneer. So what I ended up doing is ordering some what they call Type On uh, Pro, I believe. Let me see. Uh, what is it called? Uh, cold Press Veneer. And uh, this stuff here is supposed to help with basically stopping that from happening there's supposed to be a it's made for veneers it's supposed to be a less of a i guess a water content to the mixture to where it won't absorb or soak into the veneer itself but still adhering it to the surface that you're trying to glue it to uh nice thing about veneer though is it's easy to remove nothing 80 grit sandpaper will not cut through pretty quick and bring me back down to just the body of the guitar and i can start over again not a big deal i am not on a uh, big time crunch as far as getting this done, but I do want it to be a quality work when it's finished. I do want it to look nice. I do want it to have a nice flat clear over this to where it's not going to be a real thick buildup, but yet still have a real high gloss finish like I've been doing with the epoxy resins. On this side of the table, what I've done is I've taken some small pieces of this same veneer and I end up doing some dyeing to it. I use the uh, wood dyes, the powder wood dyes, mix it with a little bit of water a little bit, or a little bit of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, uh, and kind of like apply it to the veneer itself just to see how it's going to accept the dyes, what it's going to look like uh, as far as dark spots, high light spots, and shit like that. Now, the problem I had with this too, with the type on, is the type on actually kind of came through in some areas uh, of the body or of the veneer through the body, and uh, I don't like that either because that's going to give me a hard time as far as trying to, to stain this, trying to put some color on it with the water dyes. And uh, the seam came out really nice. Uh, this part here sands out 
and this is the tape that you put over it. It sands out really easy, or you could take use water or even a um, uh, acetone and remove the paper from the tape, and uh, it'll also help clean up the glue that's from the paper and without yellowing and stuff the actual wood veneer itself. Uh, but the seam came out really nice. I'm really happy with that. Now back to the dies and stuff. So let me bring you guys a little bit closer so I can kind of show you what this is going to do and how it's going to look. And when I put some color on it, I kind of did some different types, different colors, uh, just to see what it's going to look like. All right, so you can kind of see here that I have added some color to the veneer. I ended up going with a kind of on the pinkish side, so I probably should have added a little bit more red to the uh, water before applying it but you can kind of get the idea i've got a red fades into an orange then fades into a yellow I kind of like that and it almost reminds me of like a flame type look if i add some blues and some greens to it it'll end up having like a a flame or fire effect on this side here it's black and i sanded back the black a little bit and added a purple then added a blue and then this is basically a bigger area of what the yellow is on the other side. And then right here, I have a small area, I have a natural just to see what it's going to look like um, if there was no color to it at all. And it actually kind of looks pretty nice. And when it gets in the light, it kind of flip-flops a little bit where it highlights some of the uh, configuring of the wood, which is basically Flame Maple does the same thing as well. So back to the body of the guitar. So you can kind of see that there is some the striping going on. These darker colors again are the down part of the swelling of the lighter colors. And this is flat. I mean this thing, I could not ask for anything better as far as no bubbles and stuff go. But it's not what I'm looking for as far as a finished product goes. This tape line here, that is from the seam tape, which this worked out pretty good, but I kind of don't like the way, I could probably make that a lot closer than what it is. And again, with the glue that I use, that could be a result of uh, swelling of the wood itself and uh, not staying close together the way I had it taped. And, but anyways, not a big deal. It could be refinished. 80 grit sandpaper will cut through this pretty quick as long as the glue underneath it is fully cured to where it's not going to gum up the paper and I'll be end up going through a lot of sandpaper. So as you can see that the binding kind of poked out around the edges. Well, the glue does not adhere to plastic and it kind of came off really easy when I pulled this off. But I have a plan with this. I've got the router bits over here and some of them have a bearing on top of them so the bearing that's on the top of the router bit is going to end up riding the edge of the body itself cutting all the access off from the veneer without damaging the body or anything else or even the uh, this real nice binding that they have on here so that'll work out perfect but then I also have a tool for the Dremel and what this is is basically like a router you know using your dremel as a router but it has a little extra added to it this piece here is fully adjustable in and out and it mounts onto the bottom of this base you're able to use this for cutting binding slots on the around the body of the guitar and you know you can use a uh some router bits or uh dremel bits for doing so which I have a shitload of different type of Dremel bits so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put this on the side of the body and this will ride that with the bearing that's on it this will ride around the body with no problems and I'm going to have a bit on there to where I'm going to adjust it to where the bit just barely comes over the top of the actual uh, veneer itself to expose the binding so it's going to end up cutting that and I'm going to adjust it if need to be if I have to go in the binding seems to be pretty even all the way around doesn't look like it's stretched out anywhere it's where it's going to be thinner and wider in another place it looks like it's put on pretty good and what I'm going to do is end up routing that with the Dremel so the binding starts shows up now there will be a little lip over here but when I add the clear to it that lip will go away you won't even feel a lip and Know, back to the drawing board as far as this goes. I don't like this. I'm not happy with it. And if I'm not happy with it, it's going to get redone. 
that's just how I am when it comes to this shit. So I will be going back to sanding. I've got some 80 grit paper. Uh, I also have some 50 grit paper on that I could put on here if it's not cutting as fast as I want it to. And I can end up cutting it a lot faster. I just have to wait for the glue to come in and they'll text me when uh, when I, that comes in and I can go and pick it up. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays out there. And uh, hope everybody, uh, hope Santa brings you all what you want. Sure. Blast. <laughs> Yes.